on a couch. On a couch in a closet. Dang. On a on a couch. On a couch. On a couch. The one kid. Hello and welcome back to Two Kids on a Couch. My name is Parker and today we're going to talk about another nominee for Best Revival of a Play, Paula Vogel's How I Learned to Drive. How I Learned to Drive is technically making its Broadway premiere this year. Um, it originally opened off-Broadway back in 1997, uh, where it won the Pulitzer Prize and has since been performed all over the world. So it's technically qualified as a revival, but this is its first time being on Broadway with much of the original cast. Uh, three of the five original off-Broadway cast members are in this production as well as the same director. So it's interesting to see how they tackle this same text some 20 years in the future and how it shapes the way they view it all. How I Learned to Drive is a memory play, recounting the memories of Lil Bit and her uncle Peck. And if those names sound weird to you, they are. As we learn, in this family, people are assigned nicknames based on their genitalia. And if that gives you any indication, this show is going to be uncomfortable. It talks about sexual abuse and assault and incest and all the complexity that goes into that. The show's very good in that it doesn't necessarily paint strong villain victim lines. I mean, what happens is bad and we know who's at fault, but the relationship is complicated and nuanced and all of the relationships are complicated and nuanced. And that's what makes it a really important, really good play. This production specifically, it's all about the cast. It's all about Mary Louise Parker and David Morse, who originated the roles back in the 90s and are now coming back to it again with the same director and everything. Their performances are the reason to see the show. Watching a lot of the interviews and reading a lot about it, they talk about how interesting it is to revisit this after 20 years and what they've learned. A lot of people in reviewing the play said that it's adds a new weight to it to see them older going through this memory play. When Mary Louise Parker did it originally, she was in her 30s talking about how acts committed against her when she was a teenager were still affecting her life. That hits harder when it's now a woman in her late 50s still struggling to remember these details. It's a good play, but it is uncomfortable. I'm a big fan, and I'm so glad it's been given this production, and I'm so glad that it's been recognized at this year's Tony Awards. How I Learned to Drive earned three Tony nominations, and it is the three that you would expect. Best Revival of a Play, Best Performance by a Leading Actress for Mary Louise Parker, and Best Performance by a Leading Actor for David Morse. In my opinion, this play is a contender in all three of its categories, but not necessarily a lock in any of them. Um, for the two performances, you really have to talk about them together because their relationship is part of what makes this so special. As I said, these people have been with these words for 20 years and are bringing a wealth of experience and history to them, and they both give amazing performances. Everyone says that they were even more grounded and heartbreaking than the first time they saw them around. Um, I think both Mary Louise Parker and David Morris are going to be in the top one or two uh, in their categories, which kind of makes me think either they'll both take it or neither of them will. It's hard to say these are, in my opinion, the two hardest categories every year is leading actor and leading actress in a play because in the plays, these leading performers get such rich material to work with. So I wouldn't be disappointed if they won. I think I might say I expect them to win, but it really could go many ways. Similarly, for Best Revival of a Play, it's tricky because what I like revivals to do is something different, something unique with the subject matter they're given with the text. This play didn't really do that. It wasn't a carbon copy of the 97 off-Broadway production, but it wasn't doing anything that revolutionary with it. That being said, this is its first time on Broadway, so there's a part of me that thinks they did what they should have done and that the Tony voters will do what they sometimes do, which is almost give it the award that it should have gotten 20 years ago. This is kind of what I feel like happened with Hedwig. They didn't have to do anything different. They just had to say, we're finally giving the Tony Awards a chance to honor the script of this play that it never got because it opened off Broadway. That's what I think might happen here. I think How I Learned to Drive is an important enough work and it was performed by masters this time. And so it might clinch the best revival of a play. Award might not, <laughs> hard to say. Um, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, bet the farm on it, but 
I think it's certainly a contender, going to be in the top one or two. And if it does win, I think it'll be well-deserved and a long time coming. And that does it for Paul Vogel's How I Learned to Drive. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep an eye out for more videos about more shows. And as always, stay couchy.